Hi guys, I'm drunk. Like, I'm literally drunk. Oh my god. Just kidding. Today we have a lot of new products here, honey. First, I have this Colourpop Cream Gel Liner Vault. These liners look so nice. I also have this Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze. I'm in the shade Tentastic 104. I also have this MAC Mandrola Skin Finish Highlighter. Then I have Kikau Bake Powder, New Huda Concealer. Now, my favorite. I'm really excited for this palette. Jawbreaker by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Oh my god. Look at these shades. Like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Look at these shades. I'm really excited. I'm really excited to use this palette. I also have Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip. These are basically liquid lipsticks. Matte. These look so bomb. I'm excited to use these lipsticks as well. I don't have any new foundation. So for foundation today, I use my old Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I'm in the shade Fair 25W. It's a little bit too light for me, so I mixed it with my Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I'm in the shade 220 Natural Beige. I mixed these two foundations and applied all over my face. For my eyebrows today, I used Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade, which I've used many times on my previous videos. So let's dive into this video. For concealer today, I'm using this Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. I'm in the shade Marshmallow 02B. I think it's a full coverage foundation and uh, I guess I put too much. It's a little bit light for me. It's really like white chalk or something. It's really light for me. I still don't know how to ch choose shades for the concealer. Like seriously. And I call myself a makeup artist. Wow. How can I pick this shade for myself? It's a full coverage concealer, but I picked up a wrong shade. It looks so smooth. Wow, it's... You have to blend it real quick, otherwise it will dry on your face. And it will form a patch. So be careful. I guess it's it worked very well on my skin. Now I'm using this Kiko Milano Radiant Fusion Baked Powder. Let me open this. This is how the packaging looks like. It's Kiko written over here. Wow, it's so soft, I guess. Let's try it on right away. Now I'm just going to set my whole face with this, especially my under eyes, so I don't form lines. Honestly, I think it's great. Let me swatch it. Oh my god, it feels so soft. I don't know what I'm doing, but why I did this, what's the whole point of this, but it's very smooth. I just love this product. 
my mom just came in and gave me this banana shake. It's tasty. Oh my god. Moto padlo, moto padlo. Now I'm gonna bronze my face with this Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze Coconut Perfect Tan. I'm in the shade Tantastic 104. It has a big ass mirror, which is very nice. Now let's give it a whirl. It worked on my face really well. Like, I'm loving it. I can build one more layer on my face and then go out without even wearing contour. So, I love this. I have no new contour, so I'm using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. It's in the shade Light to Medium. I'm mixing these two shades and then I'm gonna... Contour this fucking face and make my face look alive. I don't have any new blush either, so I'm using this color bar cheek illusion blush. I'm in the shade Everything's Rosy 010. It's pigmented, like I wasn't expecting that, but it is what it is. It's a pigmented blush. Now I'm gonna set my face with this Kiko Milano Face Makeup Fixer. I think I bought this a month ago, but I haven't used it, so give it a whirl. Uh, uh, oh yeah. It feels like I'm not spraying anything on my face. It smells so good. Till now, I'm loving my face. We are going good. I'm really excited to use Jawbreaker by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Like, I have been waiting it for a long time. It has really, like, nice pastel shades, nice glitters. First, I'm gonna dive into this shade Virgin. I have primed my eyes with that Huda Beauty Concealer. Now... I'm gonna just put this white shade on my eyes. Oh, I forgot this palette is really powdery. I'm just gonna put some translucent powder under my eyes. Now I have placed some translucent powder by Laura Mercier on, the, on my under eyes so that if any eyeshadow falls, then when I will remove this excess powder, it will go away with that. The eyeshadow will go away with that excess powder. This palette is colorful. So many shades to pick from. I'm gonna go with the shade Bubblegum, which is a pink shade. It is a pastel color, you can say. Now I'm just gonna place it on my eye. As you all may know, Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadows are very pigmented, girl. Now for my other eye, I'm going with the shade Cute. I want to try all the colors, but I cannot, so I'm choosing different color on a different eye. Let's look like a rainbow.
to be honest, I'm not loving this shade. I know it's a pastel color, but I'm not loving this shade. It's It doesn't suit me. It doesn't go with my vibe. I hope it looks good in the end. Let's hope for the best. For my under eyes, I'm using this shade Brain Freeze, which is a light blue pastel color. I've decided to create a different look with this palette. Like, as you can all see, I'm going crazy with this palette. I'm doing the pink on the other and green on the other eye. And I'm doing under eye blue. As you can see, I just poked my eyes with this brush. Oh my god. My eyes water a lot. Oh my god. For this eye, I'm going to use a different color. It's a lot of shade to choose from. I'm confused. I don't know which to pick. Two hours later. Finally, I picked a shade for my under eye. That is this yellow shade, which is wow. And to be honest, yellow is the hardest shade to make in an eyeshadow palette. It doesn't build up easily. I'm not really sure if I used the right shade for my under eye. Let's see if this works. It's really hard to belt. The more I'm applying, the darker it's getting. So now I'm just placing the eyeshadow, not dragging it or blending it. Now I'm using the shade Good Morning in my inner corner. Instead of using a glitter shade as we do usually, I'm picking up this peachy shade for my inner corner. I think it works. It, it is looking nice. Now for my other inner corner, I'm using the shade Fuck from this palette. It is also a kind of peachy color. Let's see if it works with green and yellow. Yeah, it's looking nice. It worked. It really worked. Oh my god. I'm going to highlight my eyebrow bone. I'm using the shade Jawbreaker. Oh my god, my eyes started watering. Oh my god, it ruined that inner corner that I just built it up. Oh my god, it, it ruined everything. Oh my god, can you just look at that? It looks like my eyes are fucking bleeding. Well, do I care about that? No bitch, I'm just gonna highlight my eyebrow bone and pretend like nothing happened. Now I will put some lashes and mascara off camera. The look is finally complete. I'm happy. Now let's do lips. For lips today, I'm using this Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Tule. I guess this is how it is pronounced. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comment section. It smells like something I can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it smells like new rubber toys. If you ever smell that. This lipstick exactly smells like that. The 
The shade that I choose for my lipstick is really good. Now let's highlight this fucking face. For a highlighter today, I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralize Skin Finish. I've heard a lot of good reviews about this. Now it's time to use this highlighter. Let's keep our fingers crossed. I hope it goes well. Yes, it is going well. It's blinding. Oh my god, wait a minute. Oh my god, this is so fucking blinding. I live for blinding highlighters. And I'm very happy to purchase this. I would really recommend you to buy this highlighter. It will make you so happy because it is so nice and soft as the name soft and gentle This highlighter guys oh my god i'm really shocked it's most beautiful highlighter in the world i'm really loving it see the glow see that effect my god now it's time to set up a face with this kiko milano makeup fixer it smells so good so this is the final look I created and the end it came all long. <music> this Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer is super full coverage but I picked the wrong shade but still it's looking nice on my face. Next this Colourpop super matte liquid lipstick it's awesome it's really awesome i'm loving the shade that i'm wearing right now and this mac highlighter i can't express my happiness i can't express my excitement i'm really shocked using this highlighter it's really nice it's really blinding it's really soft and gentle now this jawbreaker is like really nice shades Pastel shades, glitter shades. I'm gonna swatch some shades for you guys. First shade that I'm swatching for you guys is the shade Jawbreaker that I used on my eyebrow bone highlight. I don't know why I'm doing this on my inner hand. Next shade I'm dipping into is Lemon Drop. I like this shade, it's shiny, obviously it's a glitter so it will shine but it's really nice. Next shade I'm diving into is Bite Me which is a purple glitter. It's really dark, oh my god it's really nice. I don't know why I did the swatches on my inner hand, now I'm not able to show you guys, sorry for that. Now you guys can't see the swatches. Next time I will be careful with the swatches. I will do it very carefully. Now this palette. I love this palette. I'm a Jeffree Star fan. So I'm obviously gonna love this. So this is for this video. Bye bye. Love ya.